Hey YouTube, my name is Donna and this is my first YouTube video, so yay! Why is my camera doing that? Yay! Um, okay, so I've been wanting to YouTube for a while and I stumbled upon this channel called Learning to Dance in the Rain. And she talked about this really fun idea called Pintober. So basically the idea is that you do something that you've pinned for each day in October. And I have so many pins that I've never done, so it seemed like an obvious fun way to get used to YouTubing, get some practice, and also do some pins that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids all under the age of six, so there's pretty much no way that I'm going to be doing a pin every single day. But that is where my sisters come in. I have two younger sisters who live in California, and they are incredibly creative, funny, wonderful people, and they are also going to be contributing to Pintober with me. And we're also going to be creating our own YouTube channel, um, so I'll be giving more details about that coming up. Um, I'm really excited to get started and tell you a little bit about the pin that I chose for today. So I kind of cheated because the pin is actually one of my husband's recipes from his blog called Eat Like No One Else. Anyways, I chose this recipe because I knew it was going to work and I knew the kids were going to want to be involved, so um, that's why I chose it. It's a pumpkin snickerdoodle cookie and you can see below I've included the link to the pin. And um, so since I'm new to YouTube videos, I kind of forgot to film the beginning of the process, but you'll get the idea as we go along and um, yeah, so the fun part was rolling out the cookies with the kids and you'll see that in the video. Okay, so right now I'm going to make the coating for the pumpkin snickerdoodles. The recipe calls for half a cup of sugar and a mixture of spices. I've already pre-measured it here. Mix that up. Since I'm going to have my daughters helping me coat the cookies, I'm going to divide this into two little ramekins for them to roll the cookies in. Not to be perfect. Alright, it's all set for me to call them up from downstairs. Okay, I just pulled my dough out of the fridge. It was in there for about an hour, so it should be nice and firm now. Yep, so it's not as soft as it was. I'm going to be using this disher to portion out the cookies, and then we'll just round them off with that. Okay, that's good. Roll it all around in there. Good job. Okay, now put it back on the tray. We are making um, cookies Mom, for Mom, did cookies. Mommy. So what are you doing there? So I am rolling mm. these these things mm. into sugar and putting them on the side. Back where they were. Okay. So get onto the paper. Keep rolling it to all my How you doing over here? It's been good. Careful not to squeeze the cookie, okay? Just roll it around in there. Okay, I moved the cookies on to trays with six each because these are pretty big. I'm not sure what size my disher is, but these are pretty good cookies, so I made 18 with this batch. They're pretty Okay, I'm putting the cookies in the oven. It's called a pumpkin snickerdoodle. It's called a pumpkin snickerdoodle. I just got a taste of good taste. How's it taste? Good. How's the texture? Really good. How's the flavor? Good. Is it soft and chewy? Yeah. Awesome. 